You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is After Buzz TV's Being Human After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Being Human After Show. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to another amazing After Buzz TV after show for your favorite show, Being Human. And we're on season four, episode six, Cheater of the Pack. And I'm your host, Shano. I'm joined here by my lovely co hosts in studio. Laura, hey guys. And Kelly, hey. And we're going to be talking about all the crazy stuff that went on tonight in the episode. Aiden breaks Sally in 2009. Josh is. He's not the wolf, he's the cheetah, cheetah. of the pack. How could he? And R <laughs> Robbie pays a visit and decides to stick around. Uh, it was a really good episode tonight. I enjoyed it. So let's start talking about Aiden breaking down. We mm -hmm. saw at the end of the episode tonight, Aiden, he was, he was hungry. He was taking shots of bee blood over there. And then he goes out, his, his wife lets him go, and he ends up, with a redhead who looked like, I want to say her name was Robin from season one. He ends up in bed with her and he ends up calling Sap and Sons, the funeral home, to get that body cleaned up. Yeah, oh they, my gosh. They made a really short pact, that's for sure. Because she's yeah. like, yeah, I won't kill anybody if you don't. And yeah. That was awful. He couldn't. I'm so disappointed. I'm really disappointed yeah. in Aiden. I mean, um, especially this uh, episode, for some reason, I Aiden to me, like, I, I thought there was going to be change in him, and I feel like, you know, I think after the whole cat situation, I'm just so disappointed in him, mm -hmm. and he's not one of my favorite characters right now. It's like, seriously, Aiden, again? And, you know, now even seeing him with with Susan, I don't know. Susanna. Susanna. Yeah. Susanna um, it's just, it's kind of like he doesn't, you know, he continues doing the same thing over and over and continues going back to the same thing, and doesn't get out of it you know and i don't know i'm just i'm really disappointed with the character i, I just don't like him i don't know i disagree i feel like it like i was disappointed that he did that but it kind of showed you how oh he's not strong all the time you know he's kind of weak he's a weak guy yeah. sometimes so um perhaps I, more human than vampire yeah <laughs> he's not immortal true. so i mean i feel that way about sally how she always messes up like how you feel about Aiden, but yeah. I don't know. I, I, I think he's still one of my favorites, but yeah, it was disappointing that he broke so quickly. He obviously has a thing for redheads. Yeah. Yeah. He sure does. That's for sure. At least killing them. And she totally looked like the girl from season one. She did. One. I thought yeah. it was like a flat. Like I thought he was so sick that he was seeing her. You know, yeah. when I was looking through um, Facebook, their Being Human account, I, I saw like they were uh, selling this sticker with uh, the girl in the first episode and Aiden and they were kind of like selling it and I thought like maybe she's gonna appear somehow in like one of his visions or something mm -hmm. but I guess they brought it back in some ways to connect you know in that way to that girl yeah it's a total illusion to season one and it's the same situation too he yeah. ends up draining her too much he calls a funeral home and they have to take care of it he totally fell off the wagon and yeah. I think this time it was it was even worse because he had a pretty steady supply of blood to like to at least last him for maybe a day or two and he just he he, he was even with you know he, he even got some he got some booze in him too he had a full <laughs> stomach you know he got he got some sexy time with his ex-wife yeah he was like winning this whole like he was feeling sick but he was doing good this whole episode until the end and it was great i kind of like that him and Susanna are back together because that's a cup that's a couple that'll work because they're both vampires so yeah. hey and at Match some point, heaven. at some point it or seemed death. like Susanna was very like you know <laughs> she was kind of like trying to like teach him a certain way and helping each other and working through it and she was kind of like you know well we could try it this way and like don't you know don't get too carried away we're mm -hmm. not going to be doing that so yeah i agree with you like the relationship could actually work 
It's actually interesting that you said that, Laura, because they were they were both teaching each other this episode, yeah. even though Aiden didn't realize that he was teaching her something. It, it seemed like right when right when she catches him in the alleyway, like on the hunt, on the prowl, kind of like looking around the city for some blood, uh, she, she brings him over to the bar and he starts talking about how, no, Josh, when he's having his his guy venting session with Josh, he starts telling him, no, you can't tell her. It's sure it's going to relieve your guilt but it's just gonna hurt her so bad. And she's like, oh man, like that's, that's what I'm holding back from Aiden. Like I know I, it would kill him to know that mm -hmm. his son was killed by me. It, was, yeah. it, it would be awful, you know? So um, she was learning from him and, and, and just, and then he was learning from her about control and hey, you gotta, you know, take some shots to be negative even though it's not that great for you. It yeah. doesn't taste great, you know, it's gonna wean you a little bit. So that was good. Uh, I, I like seeing... They're balancing each other in a yeah. way. And they're both trying to not drink so much. Unlike other vampires who gorge and, you know, who who binge and then they they starve for a little bit and then they binge some more. But them too, they, they're just doing very, very small doses, I guess, right? Or at least she is and he, she was trying to teach him. Yes. But... I don't know. I, he kept asking, why are you killing other vampires? Why are you killing other vampires? It would make sense if you just tell him that, hey, killed our son. Yeah. He's going to be pissed at you, but he's not going to ask why you killing, like, why you ha I hate mean, these people so much. I feel eventually he's going to get to the point where she is going to confess, but I feel it's going to, you know, she's going to keep gonna holding onto yeah. it for a while. Yeah. Do you think at that point he may end up going after her? And killing her too like uh, in a fit of rage i don't know i mean i feel like after this uh episode it seemed like they might start a relationship again they're gonna they might rekindle their little romance so i don't know maybe he's gonna end up being confused like always mm -hmm. that poor aiden <laughs> but i don't know judging by the teaser that we saw at the end of the episode i don't think she's gonna be you know having a relationship with her ex-husband i think aiden's gonna be chained to a sink and she's gonna be doing something to him <laughs> well she didn't kill him so yeah that's a plus because usually you know, she just kills other vampires that kill people so yeah. which she probably did to that one vampire who she passed in the alleyway mm -hmm. going towards a drunken college boy yeah 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 but uh that i i feel like she's not gonna kill him right away she's probably gonna just teach him a lesson of some yeah kind. i feel like they're gonna make it work maybe we'll yes. see in their own weird way mm -hmm. <laughs> they're still married they never divorced or anything so we we really got weaned off of cat very quickly i feel yeah <laughs> i think that's why for me aiden kind of was like okay aiden you know you're finally trying to work this out and you're having a relationship and then it was like all this build up for then just like okay i'm over it you know now i'm to my next thing and okay what am i gonna do yeah. you know so i don't know it kind of made me disappointed in aiden a little it's not even the next thing because it's something he's he's going back to something he's used to you know yeah so i it's it's kind of reboundish but maybe he, not he always does that you know he goes through those phases like he mm -hmm. falls in love with a girl he gets her all excited into the relationship and then he's like you know what it's not gonna work i'm a vampire i'm sorry well what okay. other girl did he do it to though well I, I feel like either he ends up killing them or he ends up just kind of like i don't know i'm trying to think but i i feel like he well i can see where you're, you're kind of going with that like he he may have not done it like for sure to human women but who knows maybe he has done it in the past like in his mm -hmm. like 300 years of being alive maybe he has done it to other women uh so i think a lot of women accepted it though like that one celine who he's got tattooed across his chest she really accepted it even though they couldn't see each was other for mother, most of her life uh daughter there was also she he was dating um... yeah yeah there was something with them but it wasn't but she was she was a vampire yeah. so yeah. yeah it doesn't really fit there i don't know Whatever. I don't know. I guess I just want to see him happy, stable with someone yeah. and just like stop going through this whole phase of like, I can't be with this person. Okay, rebound. What am I going to go through? Okay, I'm depressed now. How can I get back? Okay, I'm going to drink a little bit. I'm going to fall. Okay, what's going to happen next? I don't know. I just want him to be happy and stable. I feel. Yeah. I like. I liked how he was happy with Kat, but I feel like it, it just makes more sense, Susanna, because they're mm -hmm. vampires and... It'll click more. Yeah, more and she balance. seems... Like a trusting vampire, kind of, yeah. you know? And she's his ex-wife yeah, from so when they were humans. Maybe, you know, because yeah. of that it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they mentioned, too, something about monster. Like, um, they know, or I don't know if you guys remember when they were in the bar, the bar scene, and I don't know if Aiden was telling um, 
Josh or Susanna was telling Aiden something about, you know, you get to know your partner, like, you know, the monster in him. I don't, I don't remember that. Part I don't recall it either. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Well, that's okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, anything else about Aiden breaking? I liked how in this episode uh, they had his, like, the makeup job on his eyes was, like, really good. They made him look more pale than he usually is. Strung and, out. And yeah. they made him look strung out because they put, like, a little bit of touch of pink around his eyelids. It made him, made him look like he was like, oh, I need to get more blood. I need to get more <laughs> of my fix. Yeah. So that was nice. All right, let's talk about uh, our aid. Hey, before we go into our next topic, guys, be sure to visit us on iTunes and uh, download the podcast. And also give us some comments and ratings on there. Give us five stars, you know what? Because we deserve it. <laughs> yeah. And, and we love reading the comments from our fans. And as you know, as much as we, we get inundated with comments sometimes. So we try to pick out the best ones, all right? So be sure to do that. Be sure to rate and comment us on the iTunes store. Um, so Sally warps back to 2009 this time and she it, it seems like a lot of the time now when she's warping back it's it's getting more personal before it used to be like random stuff that didn't have anything to do with the story well it kind of did but we've kind of weaned off of little smoky a little bit um it, but we did get to see her this time come back so sally's in her old house from last time and she gets to see what's going on with robbie and Danny and how there was a lot of antagonism between them two. So how did you guys feel about everything that was going on with that? It was okay. I mean, I feel like I feel like every time she goes back, I feel like sometimes it's taking longer now. So she might get stuck there more. I don't know. But it showed that, hey, Robbie's not a dick. He meant well. Yeah. So. I think that was a big deal, yeah. actually. We got to see a side of Robbie that didn't make him look like a leech or some kind of loser because he sure he's probably like a drunk or whatever but he's coming by and he's actually he actually cares about his sister it's just that danny was just such a jerk behind the scenes and he was like trying to protect his sister yeah and his way of like venting to her was to kind of make fun of her life because he wanted her to get away from that and he couldn't tell her directly because she seemed like she was so happy Am I right? Yeah. Well, I think she, I don't know. There was something there. She didn't 100% like, I think she was lying to herself. But, you know, um, regarding the whole relationship and, and you know, first Sally going back and being able to see the relationship they both had, um, I feel in a way it was for her to kind of clear her conscience like, hey, you know, this happened. This is what was really going behind the scenes. And now you guys could change that relationship. Now, like, because of what happened in this episode, you know, now you get to maybe um, reunite with your brother and make things work and change things because, look, you know, all this time he was, he really genuinely loved you and he, he was trying to work things out and try to prevent, maybe, you know, prevent you from being with somebody that was going to kill you eventually, you know? And so I feel um, in a way she was meant to go back to show her that, you know, hey, your brother loves you and you, you need to fix this relationship. Great timing, so. though great time <laughs> yes. I, uh, a little too late but yeah. how how many days was she back there because her her old self went through like three or four outfit changes and a little side note one of the shirts belonged to you i've seen you in that <laughs> shirt before which one was it it was like uh the line one with the pink and uh gray i think it was yeah it was like huh. a pink I was like, i've seen that shirt before yeah. somewhere <laughs> almost like candy cane like kind of like a dirty candy yeah. cane <laughs> cool style sally cool style yeah but um i think it just lasted a like less than a day less than less. For, for oh present time ah so it's like accelerated maybe in the because i it might have I think in the past might, yeah because it seemed like it lasted more than a day mm -hmm. unless she just was really sweaty or something moving she had to change <laughs> yeah, a lot she changed a lot <laughs> that's know? right yeah <laughs> um or it could be yeah it could be that it's accelerated and there's ellipses too like it jumps back and forth between the present what's going on with uh with josh and nora and um and aiden mm -hmm. and then when it goes back maybe there there's an ellipse where she actually warps again and we don't get to see what's happening with her we we really don't know how many times she warps back and forth we're just assuming that it's continuous and she's just been there for a while for like three or four days well i feel like 
she would see i don't know what do you mean she would come back to present time and then go back no no i mean like within the past oh. she's like warping again like she can't control it and it's just not showing to us here mm -hmm. the audience you know yeah well, it could be could be that but i think maybe i because yeah i don't think she's gonna be stuck there when they're sleeping and stuff <laughs> yeah yeah well i don't i don't think we want to see that <laughs> no no kind of boring <laughs> no but i feel like there's some type of like thing controlling where she's going and there's a yes. reason behind it yeah i want to know the reason yeah. behind this because it's just is it just a punishment for every time she uses her powers like it can't be just that clean cut it seems I mean, there's a correlation for sure i, I definitely like i was saying I, I think it's trying to teach her a lesson and for this specific episode you know now having her brother in present time it's kind of helping her like see the back you know how it used to be before and Clearing, clearing everything that used to happen behind the scenes she's finally seeing and she's like wow i love my brother he's he's there for me he's you know helping me and now i get to have him so i i feel i don't know if you guys remember when she goes back in present time and she's kind of like looking around and i'm sure she was looking for her brother she sees her brother and she you know she's excited like okay you know i'm sorry like with that face of like feeling guilty like i'm sorry i treated you bad yeah. or whatever yeah but because she, she gets to see both sides now. Yeah. She gets to see yeah. what's happening with uh, with Robbie and Danny and their interaction. And she's just, she, she's really saddened now to see how she was treating him back. And she didn't know his his motivation, his reasoning behind so, everything. Uh, you know, to go back to what you guys were wondering, I don't know. I feel that's what it is. She might go back, you know, to those times to teach her those lessons and, and you know, try to fix life now. I feel like, time. I don't, I feel like it's somebody, I feel like it's something forced like Don or somebody because obviously somebody ki killed Kill. Robbie, mm -hmm. a, a thing. And I think that same thing is bringing her back to these certain times to kind of uh, trick her and also hurt her. Like just mess with her. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, yeah, you see, he's a nice brother. But guess what? He's, he's dead, dead now. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do you... That's pretty true. So yeah. let's actually segue from that into talking about Robbie and him sticking around. So obviously he's a ghost now, which is freaking crazy. I thought actually this episode that he would, he would do like the same thing that they did last season, which is they have him come and he's there for one episode, something happens, and then he has to take off again. Mm -hmm. But it looks like we're going to have him stick around for a lot longer now because... He's a ghost. He, he he has to be there for longer. He's like tied to the house now and he's going to have to learn all his new ghost powers and all Unless that. Unless he sees his door. Unless yeah. he sees his yeah. door. Because, yeah, then if he does that, he's going to be gone maybe mm -hmm. next episode or something. Yeah. But I think they're going to definitely explore their relationship a little more. So yeah. we might see him for a couple episodes. Yeah. I think he looks so much more like like uh, Megan Rath slash Sally now because his hair is longer. So he looks more feminine with the long hair. <laughs> he looks more feminine. I don't feel like he grows very much facial hair. Just the way like his like the gray is under the skin for him. <laughs> it just looks so light. I don't know. It just uh but uh I, I, I could have sworn they were like twins or something. They look so much alike. I think he's younger in real life. Mm, I'm not yeah. sure. I think I think you're right. But maybe I'm just thinking that because in the show, yeah. isn't he younger too? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, I believe so. Yeah. That would make more sense. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like um, his hair, too, a little bit of a connection to another sci-fi show, Defiance. What uh, He's he's a, an alien on the show, and he's like, I think he's a recurring character. Yeah, he's one of the, I think he's one of the main he, main dudes or something. Is he one of the main dudes? He's Probably, I'm, right? He's one of the, I'm not sure, but he, yeah. there's pictures of him on IMDb. Have you seen what he looks yes, like? Yes, he looks creepy, man. Like, like those uh, aliens. Albino. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're like albino aliens. Yeah. So his hair, his hair has to be long for that role. So I can see why now his hair is all grown out and all but that I, compared to last. It's super long, though, is isn't it? Yeah, yeah they make it a, a lot wig, longer. Yeah, I yeah. think. Yeah, but they probably oh, maybe they maybe they may even like tie in some. I mean, what do you call those things where you tie in some fake hair into like your hair that's already there? Weave? Extensions oh, or weave or something, right? Yeah. So he's got he's probably got some of that action <laughs> going on. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they could just want to make him look a little more mature, like a little older now, I'm trying to sell mm -hmm. the house and you know. <laughs> yeah. Or he he definitely well they probably wanted to make just like a a physical change in him from last season to this season to be like okay. All right, it's been some time you know he really looks mm -hmm. different now um uh, but 
how funny was it when he was like trying to sell the house and Sally was, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna make the lamp fly and stuff. Imagine I'm not here. That was those are pretty funny moments. And she can pick up a lamp now. Good for yeah. her. <laughs> yeah, she's strong now. Big yeah. improvement, huh? But then when when he came in, she just could only move like the whisk. Thing. And it was yeah. all talk. She didn't even just do anything. The pressure's on, you know. That's why. She couldn't get a hold of her ghost. I faculties. know. I was like thinking, that's it. Like you're practicing all this time, and that's yeah. how you could throw. Really? Okay. <laughs> yeah, but she did have to use her powers, and she made it stank in there really bad. Right? Great idea, though. Yeah, that yeah. was a good idea. But by I think did it kind of wear off. I think it probably weared off a little bit by the time the second couple came in. That no, they, day. She, the little kid said he smelled it. it so. They did smell it, and he was like, oh, it's just a problem with the plumbing. <laughs> so it, it probably wasn't as bad, as pungent. Yeah. It probably diffused a little bit in the house. But then we have the kid, his name was Jackson. He goes yeah. upstairs and then we see little Smokey. I thought it was maybe uh, Sally like messing around with him, but it was little Smokey, that girl that we've been seeing in previous episodes, hiding in there. She ends up like slamming the door on the kid's hand and scratching. Scratching, it, yeah. Yeah. So what? What's up with little Smokey doing all this mischievous stuff? No, she's obviously not a happy ghost. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, so. it's definitely. It made me think more of like the house in general. Is it like? haunted like you know are there spirits living there like, but we just haven't seen them but, this whole time but sally's a spirit she would have seen them you know why are they i think it's kind of silly that all of a sudden little smoke is there it appears out of nowhere yeah unless maybe like because of sally's magic the maybe. blood magic it's tied that's to the why house. she's coming back and mm -hmm. stuff i don't know but it's i for a second, another ghost. For a second, it made me kind of feel like I was watching like a horror kind of movie. Like yeah. I, for a second, I was like, "Oh my god, he's gonna go in the in the room and what's in, who's in there?" You know. So I don't know. I don't like know. Like the if you Conjuring. Guys, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you guys felt the same way for this um, episode, but I don't know. It kind of picked up a little for yeah. me this episode. It made me very like. I didn't expect a lot of the, the things that happened yeah. in the scene. So I did like though that we brought back Little Smokey because like we're we're coming up with these storylines so many and different storylines and then they disappear yeah, for like yeah. three episodes so they might be tying them in certain ways yeah. where it's like connecting and and you know little step by steps are showing us like the stories mm -hmm. yeah because two episodes ago we had zoe right the the psychic over there and she helped sally out find little Smokey and see the granddaughter and all that or her daughter whatever it was and then we get that little bit of suspicion like hey why is she looking at at them does she know sally's there and she was just pretending the whole time that she didn't see her so how is she if if little smoky is not there anymore and she's gone then and she's and she's alive right then how is this ghost thing that looks like little smoky back at the being human house it just yeah, doesn't i have it, an idea about it okay oh you for later for the predictions <laughs> excellent excellent well uh josh is a cheetah not a, not a wolf shame on you josh so he wakes up <laughs> next to wendy who is not nora his wife <laughs> that was really who's funny who's totally though. cool with it though she's, she's cool like hey it. just go with it enjoy it embrace your wolfness <laughs> it's like we're living back in the 70s and we're wolf swingers <laughs> but her husband wasn't cool as cool with it I as know. she was yeah mark is totally the alpha male Man, yeah. he just but, he went in there. Or and he, he just... wants to be, and then Josh yeah. wolf like were Wolfman's out. Yes. not even werewolf, Wolfman. That's right. So, but yeah. you know, and it's crazy because Wendy, the way she starts talking to Josh, it almost seems like, hey, it's okay, we're all doing it. It's kind of like you know, yeah. it's it's part of the you know. But then get you know, seeing Mark all pissed off, yeah. then there's something wrong. Maybe Wendy's just trying to make a move on Josh, or like I think she was. What is going on? Yeah, you know? she probably likes him more if, than Mark. Because if if uh, well, Mark is a bit of a jerk, so yeah. I, I totally agree. He's tall though. He's tall. <laughs> I know I mean... those dreamy eyes. I know, but. Josh has such a good heart, you know? Oh, He's, like, yeah. over there, like, all scared, trying no. not to tell uh, <laughs> Nora. Yeah, but what you were I thought that people were doing it, too, because the way she was, like, so casual about Kinda it. like, accept it. It's yeah. part of us. Yeah. That's, it's normal. But Apparently not. It could just be. <laughs> I'm thinking, now I'm thinking pack mentality, all right? So in the packs, we got the, we got the alphas all the way down to the omegas, right? The people last in line. Nora and Josh just came into the pack. And to have the Omega sleeping with the alpha uh -oh. female, that's a no-no to the alpha male. Mm -hmm. So that's probably why, you know, oh, everybody's doing sure. But it's not acceptable for Mark because 
It's, He's at the top of the chain, yeah. and he doesn't want mm. that Omega to be dipping in his. It's his wife, right? I mean, yes. yeah. come on. <laughs> yeah, it's his wife, of course. And he just and he just wants to flex his alpha muscles and like punch him around, <laughs> you know. So that's what he ended up doing. He doesn't want to show that he's weak and being like submissive to Josh. I right? love Josh though. Like you know, he was trying so hard not to <laughs> tell Nori. He's just like, okay, I'm just gonna keep it. You know, he went to Aiden for advice and like, okay, I'm just gonna keep it. I mean, it's gonna hurt her if I tell the truth but then at but, the end he's there all nervous like um okay i need to i need to tell you like yeah i think he was gonna <laughs> tell her too yeah, yeah. he was at the to. worst timing yes the worst possible <laughs> timing time. this episode it was so it's bad great. his eyes were watering like yeah. oh, i'm so sorry <laughs> i'm gonna tell you this and then they come we're and we and i thought they were going to be the couple that ended up coming for for Robbie, you know, to be selling the house to them. You thought it was going to be a wolf couple too, though. That yes. was a good prediction. I actually thought it was going to be them. I thought it was going to be them. Yeah. But for oh, we're buying the house, and oh, it's your guys's house. It's been a while. Oh, and you slept with my wife. And then he punches. So well, Mark just came straight to the point. He's like, yeah. "Where are you?" <laughs> I'm not here to buy. I'm here to punch. <laughs> <laughs> so awful yeah awful but i think stuff. it was worse for for nora now like she totally hates josh now for not telling her i don't her. think she hates him she's just disappointed which is kind of worse than yeah. hating yeah she well, doesn't like, really trust him anymore either like the wolf at least yeah because she even said like your wolf is winning now yeah and you feel more you feel better when you look like that that's freaky yeah it's scary it's not a person in control yeah yeah and i so, feel though she she you know she's safe. been so patient all this time and she's trying to work with him whatever it is that he needs and yeah. trying to like talk to him and if he tr wants to try something else she she's there right next to him and mm. i feel like finally she's already tired of, of doing this you know tired yeah. of trying so hard and you know obviously josh didn't do anything in a way like he he you know i don't know what do you guys think about that human he, josh didn't yeah but do you feel like because you know how they kept on saying something about um in, to some extent you know, even you if know you're a you're wolf, doing. like yeah. you still have a bit of control. Do you feel like, you know, it, it is possible or he just it took over him? I, I really don't feel I, I feel like they remember what they're doing half the time. But I, I feel like overall they're not in control. That's what I feel because they change. They transform, you know, it depends. I feel like on the person. I feel like some people, like um, the dad and stuff and those kids, I feel like they mm. could kind of control those wolfy things a little bit. But I, I don't... The way... Josh, it's different now, too. Yeah. He's not like a s normal werewolf. He's yeah. He's wolfing out at rant whenever he's angry. He's like hulking out. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't think he knows what he's doing, basically. Yeah. Because yeah. he even woke up all, like, confused, like, thinking it was Nora mm -hmm. and it wasn't. I think so. he just, like, goes nuts yeah. like, when he's a wolf. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh but I wonder if him doing his man wolf thing in front of uh the the couple Mark, I wonder how much that's going to affect their relationship with the pack. Like if they're going to yeah. totally exclude them or if he's going to if Mark's going to have respect for him now, be like, "Dude, you like kick my butt." <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. what's up? What's up with this new power? Tell me about it. How did you get this? I feel like he they won't let him back in the pack anymore. I don't, yeah, I, I feel like it's a punch to his ego he doesn't want to be like hey guess what this guy's cooler than me <laughs> I don't think and i'm the alpha no just kidding he's better no he's yeah. not gonna he's not gonna submit yeah. mark you know he's gonna i don't see them coming i don't i don't i don't see them coming in more episodes for yeah. some reason i don't yeah. know Maybe. i feel they already did their like moment if there's going to be anything, uh, it's just going to be pure antagonism. Like, they would maybe try to attack the, the being human friends, the being human house, mm -hmm. and maybe even, like, start attacking vampires randomly at different places. We missed uh, Kenny this time. He wasn't around he this wasn't episode. Around. It's always, like, either Kenny one episode or Susanna one episode. Last episode was Kenny's episode. Yeah. Yeah. And then we had to concentrate on more vampires this time because we had Susanna in here. Mm-hmm. That's right. And there's just so many stories, I feel like, you know, and they're all so different in a way. And so you kind of have to, we have to pick and choose what we're going to focus on this time. And we got Robbie now turning into a ghost. 
So See, now, that's another story adding to the pile of stories. We got another ghost <laughs> in there in the being human house. And he's tied to the house too. Just like Little Smokey is. Just like we got those two girls that Aiden killed in the house. Yeah. Who appeared last episode. But she banished them, I think, right? Yeah. So she used more. Did she use blood magic? Yeah, she probably used blood yeah. magic to banish them. That's why she. That's why she went and saw little Josh making out with the. the oh, no. That was after she did the spell on the at, sister. At Never the mind. party. Yeah. That's right, yeah. at the baby shower wolf party. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I think that about does it for our topics. Let's go ahead and move into our news and gossip. After Buzz TV News. Well, I had, uh, I think I only had one thing to talk about, but it kind of goes off of what what you were going to be talking about. So how about you mention your thing, Laura? Um, well, really quick, um, I found this. I'm following Megan Rath on uh, Instagram, mm-hmm. um, and she posted really, really cute pictures of her posing as a mermaid. Yeah, I saw I'm that. I'm sure you guys have yeah. seen them. But they were, like, professionally done, so I thought it was really cool. I, I really like them. So and that's, like, are... her dream. She's, yeah, like, best she's day like, ever, I think, she wrote on loves Instagram. Her mermaids. So yeah. definitely check them out on Instagram, Megan Rath. And you yeah, too. and uh, and going off of that, Laura, I actually, I I did I went a step further and actually checked out the websites that were posted on the the caption there for the Instagram photo. So there's projectmermaids.com, and then there's also saveourbeaches.org. So projectmermaids.com, it's they got a photographer here who's based in LA named Angelina Venturella. And she has a website, www.angelinaventurella.com, which you can check out. You can also, of course, go to projectmermaids.com. And this is a collaboration be- between her and a couple other people, Chiara Salomani, and also someone who they dubbed the Mer Taylor. And you can find him at, his name is Eric, they don't, I don't see his last name here, but it's www.themertaylor, M-E-R-Taylor.com. And apparently this guy makes specifically, he, he does mermaiding outfits. So he'll wow. make mermaid fins uh, for your feet and all the way up to like half body or like almost full body mermaid like fish outfits. Well, that's pretty cool. For you to be swimming in, in your leisurely time in your pool. Wow. <laughs> that's pretty neat. And uh, so they do that and, and apparently they're raising money uh, for, well, they're, they're creating this, uh, it's, a, it's for an art show and a table book that they're going to have and all the money is going to go towards the website saveourbeach.org which is a uh, which is in Los a- uh, it's here in Los Angeles County it's in Long Beach apparently and uh, they uh, the person who started I can't oh it's someone named Kim started this I don't see her her last name anywhere here, on here but what they do is they do monthly cleanups over at Long Beach and they just, it's the third Saturday at 9 a.m. to noon. And um, it's at First Street in Seal Beach, actually. So you just go ahead and meet up there and you just clean up trash that's on the beach. Oh, that's oh. awesome. That's not, yeah. It's a neat little thing, you know? It sounds kind of fun. And I wonder if Megan Rath was in L.A. Oh, doing the cool. shoot. That Oh, man, we missed out. But you know what? Yeah. I feel Megan Rath always puts pictures of everything that she's doing. So she would have posted something, I feel. Yeah. Or she I didn't want people anything. to stalk her. So yeah, she was yeah, just yeah. like, I'm going to put the pictures up afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because we got stalkers out here like us <laughs> wanting to know where she is all the time. Where are you, Megan Rath? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, did you have any news and gossip? Oh, yeah. I found um, Netflix uh, just acquired the entire Clone Wars series, and Sam Witwer is uh, the voice of Darth Maul and some yes. additional characters on it. Yes. And they'll, they're they going to premiere the whole series on starting March 7th, and it's going to be... Not just the the episodes, but also uh, directors directors cut episodes and the feature film. So that's pretty cool. Cool. Kelly, and I'm so enlightened by that. Thank you very much because I've been welcome. wanting, I've been itching to watch Clone Wars, but there's so many episodes. I don't feel like I can buy the whole thing. So it being on Netflix is March seventh. That is a godsend. Awesome. Save the date. I, and I cannot wait. Yeah. And um, Megan Rath and Sam Witwer, they, they did a special thing on Entertainment Weekly, uh, just asking a bunch of uh, celebrities what their favorite sexiest song was, and they answered it. I didn't li- watch the video yet, though, but uh, yeah, they answered what their favorite Ooh. sexiest songs are. Where was this at? It's Maybe at uh, popwatch.ew.com. So Ooh. it's like Valentine's Day sexiest songs. It's Definitely a bunch of celebrities. Look into that. that sounds yeah. nice. Who was? Um, I think you mentioned earlier, Laura, when we were off air, 
somebody was tweeting from the Being Human sci-fi account tonight. Was it, uh, was it one of the cast? Oh, movies? it was um, the brother. The brother. Of, oh. What's his name? We've Jesse Rath. Je- yes. Yeah. Yes. During the episode, he was going to be tweeting live. Yeah. So. Cool. And he had an interesting tweet, too, I think, right? It was something like, things are getting steamy between the vampires, between Susanna and Aiden, right? Something I like that. I think he wrote something like that. I'm not familiar. Yeah. I just remember um, him announcing he was going to be live tonight. Yeah. Okay. I feel like every episode, um, one of the cast members, right, does the... Yeah, it's the really cool that they do that, too. Yeah. And it pops up, too, when you're watching it. Once once you start watching it, it said in the beginning. Oh. It said, Jesse Rath is tweet- live tweeting now. That's oh, wow. Cool. Yeah. Well, that about does it for our news and gossip. Move on to our predictions. And now, <laughs> your After Buzz TV predictions. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to be a little light on my predictions tonight. There's so <laughs> much going on. Man, I'm just, I'm overwhelmed with the flood of storylines. But uh, I'm I'm going to say that Little Smokey is going to make more of an appearance next time. We're going to find out more about her. And Sally is going to teach her brother, Robbie, some ghost powers. All right, don't you? <laughs> I don't feel like he's going to see his door next time. And uh, maybe maybe we can go the rest of the season without him finding his door. Or maybe like right at the end of the season, he'll find his door. But then again, I feel like it would be really overwhelming to have two ghosts in the house. Both of them. Three, technically. There's three. Yeah, that's little right. Little Smokey. Little Smokey, too. You know? So, or it very well may be that next time we bring, we conjure up Donna. I think I remember in the teaser, something like that was happening. And then... Why? She, it's like such a yeah, terrible idea. It is a terrible Sally. idea. But <laughs> to make it so that she somehow brings Robbie back to life or fixes whatever, something, you know, with her blood magic. We'll see. I, you kind of took the words out of my mouth, but it was kind of, um, I see them, you know, rekindling their relationship as brother and sister in the next couple episodes i don't think um robbie's gonna leave just yet but they're gonna you know work on this whole relationship as brother and sister now that sally knows you know what he was really trying to do before Mm -hmm. and you know i see them kind of just working on the relationship a little more before he you know um leaves the house I disagree, but that's just me. I think he's going <laughs> to leave next episode because I think that's a, just a, an additional storyline that's kind of unnecessary. Let's stick to Little Smokey for Sally and Donna. <laughs> you just want to get down to Little Smokey. And, no, no, and on? all the other things like Josh's <laughs> yeah. thing, wolf thing and Aiden with Susanna and Kenny. I think it's just... Plus, also, he has a, a show, Defiance, on sci-fi that he's got to work on. <laughs> that's true. So let's, yeah. Yeah, I don't think he's in... Maybe, like, two more episodes, but I think next episode he's going to be gone. Well, if my... if he's going to be stuck here, I feel like his his ghost outfit is going to be a cooler ghost outfit to be stuck in than most people. So that's good, because he's got that cool, like, vintage look going on. He's got the gray <laughs> t-shirt. He's got his jeans, and he's got his and comfortable... his cool yeah. long hair. His cool long hair, and his, <laughs> his comfortable Converse shoes, his oh, yeah. Chuck Taylors. Those are neat. I saw those. <laughs> when he got electrocuted. Well, anyway, I think that about. Wait, I have. Some, oh yeah. Have oh, you really have more predictions. Quick, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, day interrupt. Go ahead. Uh, well, I think Little Smokey was still. I'm gonna say she was killed by the witches, and that's why she's like angry and oh. everything, and that's why she's an angry ghost. Mm. And that's why, like you, I don't know. I don't know how they like take her. How they said the skeleton key thing mm-hmm. before. Yes, how they absorb. I yeah, I think that that's still what it is, and I think Susan and Aiden are gonna get together. Still, and I think they're gonna. Well, they're obviously keeping the house. Yeah. Yes, they better keep. Oh, they are now because Robbie's out of the picture. Yeah. You can't force him to sell it anymore. <laughs> well, then that about does it for us here at After Buzz TV's After Show for Being Human. Be sure to check us out next week where we're gonna talk about episode seven and give us a follow on our respective social media outlets. You can follow me at Sean Austin O on Twitter and Instagram. And you can follow me in, on Instagram at uh, Laura487 and uh, Twitter at Lolita487. And I'm Kelly, and you could follow me at Holly Weirdo at both Instagram and Twitter. Thanks so much, guys. We'll buzz with you next week.
from executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.